Hi guys, this is the software review about the Psycho Instruments Smart Label Printer 620. Uh, that's not a really new label printer, but uh, for the first time it has come down in price. As you can see in this chart, it was always about $55, and for the first time it's $40, which is uh, quite competitive. So that's uh, very good. Uh, so if you consider buying a label printer, that's a good opportunity. Um, yeah, I thought it would be a little bit smaller, printing small labels, but it's, um, yeah, they are r rather l large labels. Uh, the fold size, like from left to right, is about 2 inches, and in the length, the uh, largest labels, and these are also the labels which you get uh, in the box, uh, are about 4 inches long, or like uh, if you uh, print landscape then white so uh, they are quite big so yeah what to do and what to do with the software anyway uh, you get actually two software um, yeah I uh, here I start with the first one I close the other one that's the simple solution that's this software that comes with the uh, drivers uh, you have to, you can download from the Psycho site or you can just insert the CD-ROM and install it. So that's a little bit more simple um, software. Uh, I have not been trying everything out, but uh, the basic thing is you can just start uh, typing and when you do uh, yeah just type a little bit you see so uh, large letters um, as uh, more I write the uh, letters start getting smaller so they fit still onto this label that's very uh, unique very special very very uh, good um, functionality I think so if you like just to put something on your label that's the smart label printer software you can print here uh, you have recent form some some um, basic samples and so on and the size you can select here um, yeah here you see the the, <coughs> the size of the label so yeah uh, it's not bad but it has not so many features as the second software has which is this one I hope you can see everything it's called the yeah okay um, I've made it a little bit smaller so it fits the video um, yeah you have basically this um, options with uh, text and pictures barcode and other things you can open templates or uh, saved um, labels or of course here you can uh, save and you have to open feature so basically you start on the left side with the label and select in the settings the size when you uh, have the category all you can see all the different sizes which you can buy on Amazon or wherever um, do you see the these ones are about the smallest I think uh, or maybe here so uh, um, 11 millimeters to 51 millimeters I think these are about the smallest ones and the largest ones are about 45, uh, 54 millimeters to uh, 100 and something. Can't see it here. Yeah, it, this is about the biggest one. So, and this is also the the label uh, roll which you get in the box. So I've started with that and made a few templates because here you see the uh, big one 
the big label I make it a little bit bigger so you can see the size on the on the on, on, uh, top and on the side you see the uh, size in millimeters maybe you can select inches here you all can also see the um, size as well so okay uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty big. So it uses one one label that's about two inch to four inch. That's really big. Maybe you can use it for a box, but if you like smaller, you can divide divide the whole thing like I've done it here. Uh, you can divide it into four pieces. These are like text boxes. You can have here. You can enter a new text box and write some text and of course when you have to divide one big label to four you have to rotate this so you have to mark the box um, press the right uh, mouse button select properties and then you can rotate the text by whatever you need so you see it here and then you can adjust the position and size of the whole thing so yeah so now you can uh, use one label for four of your addresses um, of course you have to adjust the size sometimes but that's quite easy you can also select uh, multiple or all with Control A, you can select all of them, but you can't change the text size. Oh yeah, it does. Oh wow, last time it didn't. That's quite good. So <laughs> yeah, good to know that it really works. You can also make everything bold and yeah, non-bold. So that's the good thing. You can make it even smaller. Um, I've done it like here. <coughs> I've um, here now. I fitted ten uh, address labels to one big label. You can just delete, confirm, and here you can mark the uh, label. You can press Control C, Control V, and then you have a new label and can just position it to the right location and so on. So you ha end up with 10 address labels uh, instead of uh, wasting a lot of um, paper and yeah. So, of, but of course you have to cut these lines with uh, scissors. This, uh, yeah, um, this is one, one, one label of course and uh, there's no automatic cut uh, not even here on the side and of course not within the label so you have to uh, print one and then cut these lines in between with the scissors but uh, at least you can use them um, yeah there are I don't know how many maybe 50 or 100 of these labels so you don't have to waste them you can make smaller labels and use them um, which is quite nice and also I did that so yeah these are the basic options which you have uh, you have some copy and paste features the thing is as far as I have um, found out <coughs> the copy paste does not use the Windows copy paste features so if you want to copy text to um, like or to or from uh, office or other uh, programs you have to use these uh, features here in the SysTray here you can text capture and copy text to smart label creator this is a little bit annoying and some kind old-fashioned and just I don't like it I mean I don't need other programs running in the background all the time when I don't need it I this is really I mean it's it's uh, yeah it's not the bug but it's really a lack of feature um, yeah um, I have to find out how I can stop this uh, because I don't want to run 
uh, yeah, these programs always in the background. But you, um, yeah, it, it's possible to exchange some uh, text between these programs and Office or other programs, but it's a little bit annoying. So that's the thing. Um, also, you have the toolbar, which you can activate, deactivate. Uh, you can have also rotation features and other things. Uh, maybe, yeah, you can even align them. That's good. I haven't used the, this. Do you have even database, uh, import, export, um, backup, restore, and some kind of help feature? That's, uh, yeah. Uh, I've been going through these things. There's, yeah, basic features are uh, explained, but there is no, not so much help if you have some special questions but yeah it was working I mean I have attached the label printer by USB I've even attached two uh, computers same time with USB it worked fine so no complaints but yeah it's not a state-of-the-art uh, software but it works it's quite stable it has it didn't have any like uh, software failures or so really big box or so um, yeah that's the good thing so if you like the price and to if you don't mind to stick with psycho um, yeah then um, uh, that's a good thing so I I think with other the Dymo or, or how is it called? Yeah, something like that. Uh, you have a little bit more options, especially regarding the uh, labels. But it's um, yeah, you have quite many many options. Also with the Psycho and the printer works really good. It's fast and printing quality is quite decent, even when it's not the very best. When you print something like this in this size. Um, then you see some artifacts. So if you na if you need a better quality, then you have the possibility to buy the uh, advanced version, which is a little bit more expensive. But as long as you print like in bold or bigger labels, then it's no problem at all. And even with this size, uh, I have been printed one. Um, without bold like here then it was a little bit difficult to read but uh, when I switched to bold it was no problem at all nobody would think that it uh, has limited printing resolution so yeah so far um, yeah more or less full recommendation also for the software it was also easy to install I hope I was able to help you a little bit um, to make your decision if to buy or not if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel and thanks anyway for watching see you next time